Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be learning how to write our very first Hello World program in Node.js. My name is Hemin Ceylan, and I'm going to take you through writing your very first project in Node.js. This is what we are going to cover in this video. What is Node.js, installing Node.js on your system, and writing your first line of code in Node.js, and we are going to dive into the docs and see some Node.js modules. Now, what is Node.js or Node as it is popularly called? Node is a server-side runtime for JavaScript that enables JavaScript to be run outside of web browsers. Initially, the JavaScript was developed as a language to only run within the browser window. I mean softwares like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, Edge. These are all browser windows that enable you to connect to the internet. Node JavaScript was developed only to run within this window. But with the introduction of Node, JavaScript now can run both on the client side in those windows or on the server side. It was developed in 2009 by Ryan Dahl. He did this by encapsulating Google's V8 engine in the C++ runtime environment, which he called Node. Since then, Node has seen tremendous growth and has gotten a lot of support from the community and it is now governed by the OpenJS Foundation. It has found applications in corporate users like IBM, Facebook, Google, Netflix, Yahoo, and if, if that's not amazing, I don't know what is. And don't, don't be scared that it's only for corporate use. No, Node can be used to design your very own personal website or personal blog. Now, you might be asking, why do I want to learn Node? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but I think this, this should convince you to learn Node. Node is reliable, it's lightweight, and has a great open source community. Everyday developers are contributing to Node and trying to make it better. It is easy to learn and integrate. It has a very linear learning curve, and it has led to the development of amazing front-end frameworks that make your job easier, like React, Angular, and Vue. These frameworks can be used to create SPA single-page applications or progressive web apps, and it has also led to the development of some mobile frameworks like Ionic and React Native, which make mobile app development easier. All right, I'm going to show you how to install Node on your system, and we are going to go to the official homepage for Node.js. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, open up your Chrome browser and go to this link, Node.js.org. This is the official homepage for Node.js. We'll scroll to the bottom of the home of the homepage and click the downloads and based on your system if it's windows click windows install if it's mac or if it's linux i advise you to stick with the long-term support and it is recommended for most users i already have it downloaded on my system so i'm just going to fire up the installer and this is a node.js setup with a wizard like this choose where you want node.js to be installed to I'm going to leave it as default. Select leave all this selected. Next. Next. I already have it installed, but if you don't just click this install button, so I'm just going to cancel. After the installation has finished, fire up your command prompt and write node V and click enter. It's a print version of node that is currently installed on your system. All right, I'm going to show you some node modules from the official node homepage. So I'll leave a link in the description below, but I'll just show you. So you go here, nodejs.org slash API, and then you can always refer to the documentation if you have any issue you need to learn something. The docs are well written, and I always recommend you use the docs to learn. See, let's look at the HTTP module. See, just you can just read through it and see how everything is meant to be and stuff like that, making client requests and all. So this is just Node.js documentation. You just need to go through it. But for the sake of this video, I'm trying to keep it simple, so I'm not going to go in depth about any of them. But I'm just trying to let you know that anything you need, you can find it in the official documentation.